Okay, so as an example, right now I have four colors loaded in my AMS. And if I come in and tell this to sync, it will keep those colors. So like if I change one to a different color here and tell it to sync, it goes back. Well, it knows that because I set that information in the device tab. If you have an X1, you can do this from the screen. If you don't, this is literally the exact same thing as the screen. All the options are here. If you want to toggle auto refill, you can turn it on from here. If you want to turn on and off your first layer inspection, or if you wanted to go through and configure how the AMS functions, every option that's on the screen is here. And I can even come in here and turn my fans on live if I wanted, as though I was sitting in front of the screen. So that's all there. If I come in and tell it that I'm using, you know, this is actually white and this is black, or let's do a custom color, let's make it orange. Oh, I must have not clicked OK. Oops. White, confirm. So I've, I've told it I've got white and uh, orange in here. This would be the same as if I did it in front of the screen. I come back to prepare and tell it to sync. I've got my white and my orange. It, it literally, everything you can do, you can click in the little recycle button here. This is where it tells it to go through and look for a tag. Uh, if you want to load from the external spool, I mean, you can do everything from here you can from the screen. I, I will also point out, by the way, click on these things. It explains what they are. There's all sorts of little question marks that you can pull up to find information. If you click on the guide button, it brings up the web page that gives you all the details about the AMS. Definitely click around and look at things.